Hey everyone, Karen from Big Cartel Support Team here. We are gonna walk through the new shipping label feature that allows you to print labels right from the order details page in your admin. And you can buy labels at a discounted rate through our partner on this feature, Shippo. The ability to print shipping labels from the admin is available on paid plans. So if your shop is on the free gold plan, you're gonna to wanna to upgrade. And you can do that at any time from the billing page of your admin. This feature is currently only available to US sellers, though we will be expanding it to other countries. Sellers on the Platinum Plan can print up to 10 labels a month, and sellers on the Diamond Plan can print an unlimited number of labels in a month. Platinum sellers, that number resets each month, so if you don't print all your labels by the end of the month, they are lost. They won't roll over to the next month. All right, first up, we need to connect to Shippo, so let's take a look at that. I'm already connected to Shippo, so I'm going to show you some screenshots of how that'll look on your end when you're connecting your own big cartel shop to Shippo. When you're logged into your admin and you're looking at a new order, you're gonna see this new option here to create a shipping label. So you'll click that button to create a shipping label. And then you're gonna see this prompt to connect to Shippo. Since we are partnered with Shippo on this feature, you do need to connect your big cartel shop with Shippo to be able to print labels. So you'll click connect to Shippo. And next up, you're gonna be redirected to Shippo's account creation page. If you've already got a Shippo account, you'll click to log in, and then you'll just authorize the connection of your Shippo account to your Big Cartel shop. If you don't have a Shippo account yet, you'll just add your name, email address, and the password you want for your Shippo account. Then you'll click that green sign up button to create your account. Next up, you're gonna see the billing section, and you'll enter your own card here, because you'll be paying for shipping when you create a shipping label in your Big Cartel admin. So after you add your card info, you're gonna click that green continue button. And lastly, you'll see this authorization message asking for access between Shippo and Big Cartel. So you'll click allow access, and then you're gonna be redirected back to your admin to whatever order page you initiated the integration from. Now, before we hop over to my admin, to go further, I wanna give a quick explanation of how billing works here. The credit card that you enter in your Shippo account is the card they're gonna charge you for shipping labels. So you'll just wanna make sure that you've added shipping rates to your big cartel admin so that your customers will pay you for shipping and then you won't be short when you in turn have to pay Shippo. All right, so now I'm gonna click over to my admin and again, you're gonna create, click create shipping label and when you do, you're gonna see this shipping label box pop up. So starting at the top, we can see that there are two items in this order, and if I click that down arrow, I can see that they are both Urban Pioneer backpacks. So I'll go ahead and close that. Below that is the addresses section, and it includes the sender, return, and recipient address. Now the sender address is pulled from Shippo, and that's gonna display your own sender address once you connect with Shippo. By default, the return address is gonna be the sender address, and below that, that's the customer's address. So that's automatically loaded. Now, any of these addresses can be edited if needed. So if I were to get a PO box and I wanted to use that as the sender address, I definitely can. I would just click this right arrow, and then I could edit the address. Or I can use an alternate address for returns. For example, if my sender address is a PO box, I could set my physical address as the return address if I'd like. Again, just click that right arrow, and you'll be able to edit your addresses. Now below this, we've got the package details section, and this is where I need to enter my package details. So it's pretty straightforward. There are two options in this section. I can enter the specs of my packaging here by selecting box or poly mailer, and then I can enter the length, width, and height along with the total weight of the package, or I can use preloaded templates provided by Shippo. So let's take a look at both options. Since I am shipping a couple of backpacks, I'm gonna send it in a box, and we'll say that the box is 14 inches by 10 by four. So I'll add those dimensions here. Okay, and we'll say that the total weight is gonna be two pounds. All right, now after adding those specs, I can scroll down and see what shipping rates are available to me based on those package details. I can go USPS Ground Advantage, USPS Priority Mail, or if I offer an expedited shipping in my shop, like overnight, I can go ahead and choose this one day delivery if my customer chose to rush their order. Or rather than manually entering in my package details, I can click Choose Template up here, 
and I can see all the different packaging types like box or mailer and I can see their dimensions as well. So with these two backpacks, I think they'll fit in a large flat rate board game box. So I'll go ahead and select that. And we can see that the dimensions are already built in. So I don't have to add those. Again, below the package details are going to be my option. So with this particular size and the weight, I've got USPS priority mail as my option. It's going to be a two day delivery for $22.51. All right, now next up is going to be the options section. So I'll go ahead and click the down arrow to open that up. And this section includes declaration options, like if your package contains dry ice or alcohol, as well as the option to add insurance or create a return label. And you can select whichever options apply, if any. Um, so if you want to buy insurance, you'd go ahead and do that here. Close that out. Next up, we've got the shipment date section. That's going to display today's date by default. If you know you're not going to be able to actually ship the package today, though, you can change that. Just click on the date and then you'll see a calendar that you can use to select a different date. So if I only get to my carrier's, carrier's office on Fridays, I can just switch that date to this Friday. And then we can see that that is now updated here. Now, once we've entered all of our package info and we can see our carrier rates here, we'll go ahead and I can't click anything else. So I'm going to go ahead with that one. We'll click next. And this is the purchase summary. All the information is right here, including the last four of the card that's going to be charged. So next up, I'm going to go ahead and click buy label. Okay, again, this is going to be a breakdown of the information. I've got my customer address, the tracking number, and the ship date. If I click view more, I've got more package details, including what was ordered, as well as the size of the package. Now from here, I just need to click print shipping label. And here we can see my shipping label. Just like with any print job, you'll see a print preview of the label and it's gonna be full page by default, but you can change your settings to just print the label on half a page if you don't need it to be the full eight and a half by 11. Now I just need to print that label, slap it on my box and drop it off at my carrier's office. That's how the shipping label feature works. It's pretty easy. If you do have any questions as you're getting familiar with this feature, don't hesitate to reach out and we can help. You can email us at support at bigcartel.com or if you're logged into your admin, you can click the speech bubble at the bottom right and send us a message that way. Thanks for watching.